Hello, Fab Academy. It's uh, Dan Meyer here, and today I'm doing computer controlled cutting, and I'm going to be doing this uh, Fab Shop sticker. And I'm going to show you how to do uh, some vinyl cutting, and I'll talk through it as we go here um, with scraps that you might have left over from your Fab Lab. You have these small pieces of vinyl, especially from the Roland machines that are larger, that get left over. I take these scraps and then I do custom one-off stickers usually. I don't mass produce them. On the small vinyl cutter, this is a Silhouette SD um, at home and I just cut directly from Inkscape. And I'll talk about that as well. I have my uh, cutting tool here. I have a pen that also fits in there in the Silhouette. And I have an X-Acto knife and some scissors. So let's go through this process and I'll talk through it as we go through each step. So when you're looking at this uh, logo to cut out, it would be nice to know, let's say for instance, you have this blue scrap vinyl. Um, if I could have that positioned on this mat exactly where it is in my Inkscape file, then I could use this tiny piece to get those three gears cut out. So I'm going to show you a technique to do that. First thing you need to do is you need to leave the top layer on your sticky backing that comes with these silhouette machines. You're going to take a scrap piece of paper and then you're going to tape this actually with it along the top edge here. It might seem a little weird to do it this way but um, as you know, if you've used these cameos before, they don't really suck the page in there all the way every time. So I'm going to center this between these two wheels here. And then um, that'll give us registration each time we load this in here. All right, it's loaded. I'm going to take my pen. I'm going to load that. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw all this onto this sheet of paper. It just all makes sense in a moment. So I'm going to go to extension, export, send to silhouette. This is a FabLab BCN uh, send to silhouette extension. It's awesome. Okay, got the tool set to pen. Everything else is default. And I click apply. Okay. That's drawing the basic outline of the sticker I want to cut. So I'll have some references to where everything is at. Okay. Unload the media. Unload this pen. You know, it didn't work perfectly. That's okay, actually. Um, probably need to store these pens facing down so that they're loaded up a little better. You could also use a pen adapter uh, and put a Sharpie in there as well. That might be a little more reliable. And then I pull this off. And then I can take that and uh, take this tape off. Now I can flip that around to the back side. That's the advantage of these transparent mats. And we had it lined up along the top edge. And then this, this line here. Actually, it's this way. There we go. And now you can see through it where you need to locate it. So let's say I'm going to cut out these stars then I'd put my sticker right over where the stars are going to be at. And then I could run that layer. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's close this. And now we'll just turn on the gears only. So we'll turn off all their layers. There they are. 
Okay, so now we have those set. Let's tape this on the back side here. Okay, so now we have our mat with our reference. We can remove this protective tape on top now. And then we can load in, making sure once again to have it centered. Okay, and actually I should have put it over the top here first. Well, it's going to be really tight. This piece might not be big enough. It'll probably just make it. There we go. So we got it right in there. Let's see if we can do it. Kind of pushing the limits here. And then I'll cut out our stars. All right, sweet. And there, sure enough, there it is. I'll weed it so you can you can see where this is located even. Yeah, there you go. You can see that's pretty close to where I have everything positioned. Okay. I use the X-Acto knife to get the centers of the gears out. Um, I already have an X-Acto knife, so I'm sure you could use tweezers too. Um, I like to use the X-Acto knife for placing things as well which we'll see in later steps how that works. Okay. All right, so we can take that off now. Let's actually do our black backer next. So there is some buffer I still leave around the object. So you can get pretty exacting with this technique though. Okay, so I'm loading the media. Now back over here, we want to go to um, turn on our black backer. So there it is. Everything's going to be stuck on to this. So we need to turn off our blue stars. And once again, extensions, export, send a silhouette, apply. This will be a quick cut. It's just cutting that triangle. All right, awesome. This is a relatively big piece of black vinyl. So I'm just gonna trim it off really close to the end of the cut line there. And then on the edges, you know, once you start using this technique, it's amazing how you can just rotate these extra pieces around on a backing and get, you know, this could fit quite a bit of text, these pieces here. If you even get really good, you could put pieces together, like maybe that B would be on this piece here. Let's see if you can see that. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah. You can put it like that. And then another piece on the A and F for fab. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so now we have this piece, the triangle, and this will be the thing that we place uh, subsequent things on. The next one I want to cut is the white one because that's going to be centered on this uh, black piece. So let's go to that next. We want to go to the the white section, which is actually showing up black here because we're just going to let the so it's going to be a white mask, essentially, that lets this black backer show through. So all these sections here. So this is the inner part here, actually, we're going to cut out of white. There we go. That's what we want. Now we need to find a white piece of vinyl. All right, so that's this one here. Cut out of that corner. Okay, let's load that in again, centering on the white wheels. Enter. All right. All 
we're going to be doing our red star next. So we just need a small, very small piece for the red star. Okay, let's unload that. So now it's probably starting to make sense what I'm doing here. I'll just set that off to the side to speed things up here a little bit. So there's my star right there. So I'm gonna put that over. Right in here. I'm gonna do this real close so you can see it. There we go. Okay, centered on the wheels. All right, try one more time there. Okay, let's go over here to my extension and send it to the silhouette. Sure enough, it cruises right over to that red star and cuts it right out of the corner. Isn't that awesome? Red's kind of hard to see the cut on, so through the video camera. Now, this is getting kind of ridiculous. I, I guess maybe I could cut another star out of that square there on the right. <laughs> That's probably too much. And then we got our star. Okay, so we got our black backer, our gears, our red star. And then our white mask. So I gotta cut that out next. Weed this so we have our our white mask. I'm using OBS on Linux Mint to do this recording. I have an old it's probably over ten year old webcam that you're looking through right now. Works perfectly fine for this low resolution stuff. Okay, so there we go. Now we need the, um, to pull out the centers of the mask. Be cool if we had the fab microscope right now. You could do a real close up of me weeding, although the focal range on that microscope is not real good. So I don't know if that would work or not. Get that O out for the shop. Fab is done. Here we go. And now we have one more thing to weed. Like I said earlier, this is good for one or two stickers, not for mass production. You do this in a totally different way. You do it on a Roland, right? You'd have more space. So there you go. Got your fab shop mask there. So now I can transfer that over to here. Um, I'm going to use transfer tape to do that low tack. So I'm going to go get some of that. Okay, I got some low tack transfer tape. Actually, it's just transfer tape that I've used a million times over, and it's become low tack. Um, you want a transparent um, transfer tape. 
Okay, there that comes. Making sure I get the middles of things. As we all know, vinyl likes to stick to vinyl, doesn't it? So even with a medium tack, this would probably work fine. I'm gonna get that centered on my black field here. Approaching, approaching. Okay. Center out. Probably should have gone a little slower on that one. But that's okay. A little bit off. Still looks pretty good though. Burnish that on. Cool. All right. Now let's do our stars. I should do this red star. Perfect. There we go. And then the gearlings, gears. Pick those up on this transfer tape. Come on. Position those across the top. Looking at that top line as a reference. Looking at my Inkscape drawing. And then down it goes. Yeah, that looks sweet. You know? Not bad for not having registration marks. Of course, you could use the dot registration marks and then register uh, per the traditional way. But I've made a lot of sticker this way and I've been totally happy with them. I kind of like the, you know, you can see here, I'm a, it's a little thinner here, the black backing. But I think it makes it look handmade in my opinion. Okay, so this isn't bad for using scrap vinyl, which you know, when you're doing personal fabrication at home, that can get quite expensive. And if you're just taking bits and pieces from the local hacker spaces, maker spaces, and fab labs that are just left over that we're going to get thrown out anyway, this is a great way to make things. And then you can always use the professional techniques that uh, professional vinyl cutters and graphic designers use, of course, um, to mass produce these. All right. So that's computer controlled uh, vinyl cutting for 2020 Fab Academy. Um, talk to you guys later.